record operating in Pope County today. The Racing Commission met deciding what company scored the highest and will ultimately get the sole casino license there. Our Stephanie Sharp was in the meeting and breaks down this process. Stephanie? Ashley, this has been a very heated topic for a long time. There were two different companies vying for that casino license. You had one casino out of Mississippi, the other out of Oklahoma. Today, they pitched their proposals to the Racing and Gaming Commission. The Racing and Gaming Commission scored those and gave one a higher score. The Arkansas Racing Commission meeting in a socially distant way, hearing from two companies wanting to operate a casino in Pope County. We would implement similar practices. First, Cherokee Nation businesses pitched Legends Casino. Then Golfside Casino Partnership pitched River Valley Casino Resort. Commissioners scored each proposal. Golfside Casino Partnership from Mississippi ultimately won. It's been a long road. Um, my team's done a lot of work. The River Valley Casino Resort is proposed to have 80,000 square feet of gaming space, nearly 2,000 slot machines, and 90 table games. Golfside Casino Partnership plans to invest $254 million into the project that will sit on 100 acres in Pope County. Right now, we're just going to enjoy today. It's been a long road. Golfside Casino Partnership co-owner Terry Green says he believes many people will ultimately support this plan in the River Valley. Once we get this casino built and up and running, I think um, the majority of people will, will see what we're doing, and I think everybody will get on board. Cherokee Nation business does have 15 days to request a hearing from the Racing Commission. We did reach out to CNB for comment. We've yet to hear back. Reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Stephanie Sharp. Back to you.